Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Pete Breaker, and in today's commentary, I'd like to talk about Battlefield 4, and more specifically about my personal top 4 Battlefield 4 wishlist. Now, in this one, I really don't want to discuss and concentrate on the small things like the weapon changes and cosmetical changes that don't really affect the gameplay at all. I really want to dig into deep into the depth of that matter, and just want to concentrate on the, the, the really core aspects of the game, like things that changed game mechanics fundamentally and that really could make for a better game because uh, let's just face it, Battlefield 3 is a fucking awesome game as it is right now and I think there's just a couple of things that should be changed in order to make the game better and to make it uh, more viable and more awesome alternative to some other shooters out there. So let's dive right into it. My first point on the list is a big one and of course everybody's talked about that. I'm not going to go into details on this one. It's of course suppression. I want to see suppression tweaked a lot. I mean I do like the visual effect of suppression, don't get me wrong. I really like the kind of uh, blurring of the screen. I think that just looks awesome and it pretty much resembles a real life uh, situation where when you get shot at you probably would like shut your eyes closely and you're like oh I don't want to get hit and everything and that's probably what you would do in real life and what it, what it would be like uh, however the uh, various bullet spread that just gets on top of it when you're suppressed is just ridiculous and I mean if you've ever been in the situation that you were standing right in front of somebody uh, with sniper rifle or slugs and your reticles right on on their on their body basically and you shoot and the bullet is just flying like almost 30 degrees uh, away from the barrel, that's just not realistic and nobody wants that, so I guess a little bit of added recoil is okay, but the bullet spread, that should be removed entirely. Now, my second point on the list is a pretty big one, and if they really can do this, then that would be just awesome, but I think it's going to be pretty hard because the Battlefield 4 is going to be on the Frostbite 3 engine, which pretty much just a Frostbite 2 uh, revamp, so I think it's going to be hard to implement it, but if they could actually do it, then that would be just awesome. So the point is better net coding, and uh, basically what I would like to see is server-side hit detection for once, so that you wouldn't get shot around corners, because as of right now, the, uh, the hit detection is client-side, uh, calculated so basically when you have a bad ping or the other player has a bad ping and uh, he still sees you in front of the corner whilst on your screen you're already around the corner he can still shoot you because the hit detection is based on uh, the client's computer rather than the position that this player actually has on the server and I think that's just pretty much stupid and I really would like to see that uh, changed up and uh, calculated on the server side. Also, uh, something that could uh, fall into this category is, of course, vehicle uh, calculations and vehicle positioning, because as of right now, when you're driving a vehicle next to another one, it always starts, like, bugging out, and it just looks weird, and this is also because of the player's side uh, vehicle positioning uh, calculation, I don't know how, how to call this, but just, uh, basically, the position of the vehicle is calculated by the player's computer rather than the server, and I think that should be made on the server, so that everybody has the same... Uh, kind of position and then you wouldn't like glitch out but also I understand that this is a pretty uh, drastic change that they had to do in, in order to include this kind of mechanic and I guess uh, just uh, improvement upon the netcode would also be pretty neat so that it wouldn't appear uh, occur all that often that it would get shot around the corner because as of right now it's kind of ridiculous how many times you just get shot behind cover that's just not fun and I think if Battlefield 4 wants to be a real a real shooter, like a triple A title uh, that can compete to other first person shooters out there, then the hit detection is the most important thing that has to be fixed in Battlefield 4. Now, my third point is a pretty big one as well, and uh, it's probably kind of a personal point, because I think a lot of people are probably going to be like, uh, I don't care about that one. Uh, but what it is, is I think Battlefield 4 should be uh, way more competitive. And what I mean by that is, of course, spectator mode, something like that. We should definitely have that. And also, if we could get, like, a theater mode, that would be just awesome. I mean, just get the, just think about the all endless possibilities of a theater mode, where you could just play back any match at any time, view it from any angle, with uh, from any perspective, and uh, you could also spectate other players. I mean, if you're playing against somebody that really kicks your ass and you're like, holy shit, I want to learn something from this guy, you could just go to the library and uh, check out the game from his perspective and basically just learn something from him. I think that would be a huge part of the game that would make it so much better. And really with the competitive edge, I think the series would get a lot more uh, support from like ESL and Twitch. I think people would just generally more aware of the game than they are of Battlefield 3 as of right now because there is basically no competitive uh, aspect to this game and people are not playing it competitive that much and if if it were played competitive more then I think 
people would be like more, oh my god, that looks fucking awesome, I want to play this game. They, they would go out there and buy the game, which basically means more money for the developers, which makes them more happy. And it's always a good thing when a publisher is happy, then they're always interested in the game. They want to, they have like a baby that they want to babysit and they want to make it good. They want to make it even better. They want to improve upon the game even further. And uh, from my perspective, um, a competitive edge would really create like a bigger roar and everything that would just make the game like like bigger and better. Bigger is always better. Just I am saying, bigger is always better. Now my final and fourth point on my wish list are better server stabilities, and this, this is actually kind of a big point, and it's kind of revolving around servers in general. So what I want to see is better server stabilities because. I have a certain problem that whenever I join a server, no matter what kind of server, no matter where it's from, what kind of ping I have, connection, it doesn't matter, I always get kicked instantly. And now, no, this is not because of the DDoS attacks that just recently happened to the EA servers. It's actually been happening before as well. So whenever I joined the server, I was I was 10th in the queue and I got down to 1, I joined the server and I kicked instantly again. It was like disconnected from EA or even sillier bug, like, oops, something went wrong. Like. What kind of stupid bug is this? Like, oops, something went wrong. Oh, sorry, you just got kicked. You have to wait another half an hour to get back into the game. So I think that should really be improved upon. And also better server transparency, because as of right now, you could kind of join a server that's like Rush and 32 players uh, for one game, and then it just changed to 64 players, Metro, 10,000 tickets, Mayhem, and this is just ridiculous. I just hate when that happens. And I really want to see, like, before I join a server, what kind of maps are going to be played, really what kind of game mode, mode rotations and whatever they have in there, what kind of anti-hack tools they have, and just all that sort of stuff. And also for the hacking tools. Now, if they could get the server-side hit detection, of course, we would have way less hackers, uh, I think, personally. Because, I mean, like, uh, I think it's easier to hack your own PC or your own game than the server. I just, I just think I'm not, like, a pro in this subject, so I don't really know how that works, but I, I imagine it will be harder uh, done when it's server side. And also I would like to see some easier tools to kick players or ba even ban players because as of right now you have to like have a plugin install and then players have to put in the chat exclamation mark, exclamation mark, vote ban player for reason which is just ridiculous for a game that came out one and a half year goes, come on, you can't even, you don't even have a vote ban in, the, in your game, that's just ridiculous, like, I love the way they have it in Crisis 3, where you just can right click on a scoreboard somebody and kick him, or just start a vote kick, and then players could choose uh, to press F1 or F2, whether or not they want to kick the player, so I think some sort of system just like that would be really awesome, and I would really like to see something like that implemented into Battlefield 4. So that's kind of my four points that I'd like to see implemented or improved upon in Battlefield 4. Of course, succeeding from that, we have like better weapon customization, weapon balance, map uh, design issues and everything. But if you really get the core aspect of the game right, then you have an awesome shooter. That's just my opinion, of course. If you disagree with me, then that's totally fine. But now I'm really keen on hearing your thoughts about my four points. Are they other bullshit or do you agree with me? Uh, if you do agree, please tell me what else you want to see implemented in Battlefield 4 and of course, what are you looking forward most for Battlefield 4? Uh, but that's pretty much it for this video. Thanks so much for watching. Have a good one. And until next time. Cheers.